sorry it took me so long. You're really out of here, Morgan. I prefer it that way. Baralaga is better. Had me some za. No eating at the table. Let's take a break. Very well. Sounds good to me. I would have preferred McDonald's. Morgan, you got the Diet Coke? Sorry, Donald. I'm a Pepsi man. I'll take one. Pepsi's for babies. Got any beer? Stogies and beer. What's next? A doobie? I'll smoke one. Maybe after Rock the session. Man, what have I gotten myself into? Excuse me, fellas. It's probably Melania. Sorry, honey. I can't talk right now. I'm handling some business. Joe? Is that you? Not this again. Joe, it's Donald. You called the wrong number. But you called me honey. I thought you were. Never mind. What do you want? You called me. No, I... <sighs> I'm playing D&D &D right now, I can't talk. No, uh, the ducks and drakes? I'm hanging up now. I used to play that when I was growing up in the block. Are we ready to play? I'm eager to try my character. Sure thing. Let's get back to the table. We resume with the party surrounding the man outside the collapsed temple. Tonin kneels down with his blade to the man's throat. Octavius questions him, and Horatio has the idol secured. Sean, would you like to introduce your character? Take it easy. I'm only a messenger. You all see a blonde-haired fighter, level 3, wearing chainmail and laying on his backpack and shield, my sword in its scabbard on my side. My name is Testicles. Oh, oh come my. on. What's the message? I'll tell you once you get this barbarian off of me. All right. But try anything funny, and I'll remove your Testicles. Ridiculous. I was sent by Centurion Marcus to escort you back to his residence in Arameth, or... If you fail to recover the idol, attempt to recover it myself. However, it seems you were successful. Rubble shifts and stones fall behind you, dust covering you all. Come, let's leave this place. Agreed. We need to find a place to rest. Preferably a long rest. I secure the idol in my backpack as we begin walking. You all begin walking into the dense jungle. The canopies towering above you and the sound of exotic birds all around. What's your marching order? I say we put the fighter up front. I don't trust him. I don't either. Not with that name. Give him a chance. It's all right. I pull out my shield and lead the way into the jungle. What's your passive perception score, Testicles? Looks like... 11. I see. Unfortunately, you trigger a trap. No. What? As you're walking, your leg is caught on a taut vine as a massive log comes swinging down from the canopies above, directly at your chest. I've seen this before. Is there anything we can do? It's all happening too fast. Testicles, roll a dexterity saving throw. Yikes. No. Not good. What does that mean? The log trap hits you square in the chest, dealing 36 bludgeoning damage. I am... I am dead. Octavius? Can't you save him? I don't have spare the dying, and all of my healing is tapped. Does anyone have any potions? We decided that your healing was all we need. Remember? I clutch my chest, blood seeping through my fingers as I struggle to speak. Ah, uh, it's a cruel fate, this. Bestin, by a mere log. When so many greater foes couldn't claim me, I cough weakly. Friends, Comrades, listen. The road ahead, it's perilous, but you must press on. Without me, remember, it's not the blade or the trap that ends us, but the choices we make and the bonds we- I'm sorry, Sean, we need to keep moving. Here's the player's handbook. Go ahead and roll up another character. Oh, sure. So long, Testic, please. Well, that was short-lived. I will never let this happen again. Maybe we should keep an eye out for more traps. Who do you think set that one anyway? As you speak those words, Gandalf, you all realize you're being surrounded. Everyone, roll initiative. <laughs>